हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिकल साइंस डिजिटल क्लासेस महबूबा बाद माई सेल्फ नरेंद्र बाबू कोटला पी जी टी केमिस्ट्री टी एस एम एस महबूबा बाद टूडे क्लास टेन पार्ट वन एटामिक स्ट्रक्चर टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेक्ट्रम इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट वन स्पेक्ट्रम स्पेक्ट्रम इन द सेंस the range of different colors which is produced when light passes through a glass prism or through a drop of water is called spectrum otherwise one more definition the series of different colors which produced when light passes through a glass prism or through a drop of water is called spectrum example rainbow so there are seven colors namely violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red which is called as vibzior so these all colors will be present in rainbow electromagnetic waves when you throw a stone into a still pond you observe ripples which are transmitting the disturbance in the form of waves on the surface of water you know that sound waves are provided when something like a drum vibrates when an electrically charged particle under vibration that means accelerated alternating electric and magnetic fields are produced and transmitted in the form of waves or electromagnetic radiations when an electrically charged particle is under vibration means when an electrically charged particle accelerated and alternating electric and magnetic fields are produced and transmitted in the form of waves so these are electromagnetic radiations in this electric field and magnetic field produced by oscillation of charged particles are perpendicular to each other and are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the waves so in this actually the produced electric field and magnetic field so by the oscillation of the charged particles so these are perpendicular to each other electric field and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave the vertical component of the wave indicates the change in the strength of the electric field the horizontal component of the wave that indicates the change in the strength of the magnetic field but by practice only vertical component of the wave is considered by practice only the vertical component of the wave is considered if you take if you consider so this electromagnetic radiation yes. as waves the point of upward displacement is called crest the upward displa displacement is called as crest the point of maximum downward displacement is called trough so the point of maximum downward displacement is called trough thus the waves may be considered as disturbances which originate from some vibration source and travel as a continuous sequence of alternating crest and troughs unlike sound waves or water waves electromagnetic waves do not require any medium for their propagation they can move even in vacuum so like sound waves and water waves electromagnetic radiation they do not require any medium so they they even they can so move they can travel they can propagate in vacuum electromagnetic radiation is characterized by the five types of the properties they are wavelength frequency velocity or speed of the light amplitude and wave number first we will go through the wavelength what is wavelength wavelength in the sense the distance between the two successive crests or troughs is called wavelength wavelength in the sense the distance between the two successive crests or troughs is called wavelength wavelength is generally denoted by the lambda it is a symbol the symbol is lambda 
the SI unit of wavelength is meter or centimeter. We can also represent this wavelength in the form of angstroms. One angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters second one frequency. The number of waves that pass through a given point in one second is called frequency. The number of waves that pass through a given point in one second is called frequency. Frequency is denoted by the Greek letter nu. It is denoted by the Greek letter nu. It is measured in cycles per second, CPS or reciprocal seconds, second inverse or H, HZ. The SI unit of frequency is H. Actually, there is a relation between wavelength, that is lambda, to the frequency nu. Lambda is inversely proportional to the frequency. So that means lambda is inversely proportional to the frequency. So lambda is proportional to the C by nu. So then C is equal to lambda nu. Third one, speed of light. The distance traveled by the wave in one second is called velocity of light or speed of the light. The distance traveled by the wave in one second is called velocity of the light or speed of the light where c is equal to lambda into nu. The speed of light generally denoted with the c. c value for light is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second as nu is inversely proportional to lambda. Fourth one amplitude. The height of the crest or the depth of the trough of a wave is called amplitude. The height of the crest or depth of the trough is called. So the trough of a wave is called amplitude. It is denoted by A, capital A. So amplitude is a measure of intensity or brightness of a beam of light. It is a measure of intensity or brightness of a beam of light. Fifth one, wave number. The number of wavelengths per centimeter or the reciprocal of the wavelength is called wave number. Wave number is denoted by the nu bar. What is wave number? Wave number in the sense, so the number of the waves distributed per 1 centimeter distance. So per 1 centimeter distance, the number of waves distributed. So that is called, or the number of the wavelengths per centimeter, so that is called wave number. The unit of wave number is centimeter inverse or meter inverse thank you thank you for watching this video